Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Miss Lorraine Lee 11. And as you can see guys, I am very tired. I've had a long busy day, but I just wanted to show you guys how to maintain the wash and go that I have. So if you watch my last video, you can see how I actually got this wash and go and the unexpected combo that I used to get this wash and go, which turned out very nice as you can see. So what I'm gonna wanna do is obviously maintain this. So I'm gonna quickly show you guys now how I do that. And you're gonna be so shocked because it's so quick and so simple. Yes, it's my nighttime routine. Now, all you're gonna need, guys, I'm gonna be very honest, it was a bonnet. <laughs> that is all. I've got a big bonnet. I bought this one from Target when I was in the States. And this is an extra large, just because I have a lot of hair. So, you know, this is gonna be a very short video, guys. Very short, being honest with you, because I am tired. Right guys, so as you can see, my curls are looking fresh and juicy. I don't want to pull my hair up in any way where I might get a dent from a hairband or anything. So I'll just show you now, I'm gonna do this. What you're gonna to wanna to do is pull your head forward, very slightly. So pull your hair like so, you don't need all of it right in your face. Get your bonnet, good. Start from the back, pull your hair into it and pull all your hair forward either side so it's all sitting at the top of the bonnet so there you go i'm looking kind of mad right now because obviously how else am i meant to look but yeah so basically the reason why i pull my hair forward and not up is because when i usually pineapple my hair or when i used to pineapple my hair when i take it down in the mornings all the edges all the way to the nape of my neck were straight and that used to annoy me it literally just ugh, my curls were just gone and my hair was just like, and I had to do too much to it. So this way, I just pull my hair forward. My hair sits in this position all night. Because if you're gonna diffuse your hair and you want big hair volume, you tend to throw your head forward and then diffuse it, right? So that gives you the volume. So when I take my hair out, which I'll show you in the morning. Oh, I gotta go to sleep. <laughs> which I'll show you in the morning, guys. My volume will be amazing. My curls will be nice and juicy, moisturized and all the above. That's it, so simple. I'm going to bed now. <laughs> I'll see you when I wake up. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back. So this is the second part. As you can see, my face is done up. I'm ready to uh, just, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to show you how my hair turned out. I slept with it like this. It kind of went to the back like that, but not so much because I forced it forward. Now is I'm just going to show you what my hair looks like. I'm just going to take this off here. And there you go. So now I'm going to shake my hair up. I'm gonna zhuzh it up. I'm just gonna stretch my hair with my hands, just to try to separate it. And throw it forward. Just kind of pull it at the roots in the middle so it's not flat at the back. And basically, I'm just trying to tease the hair down. Okay, so that is pretty much the finished look, but I can't come to you with my edges looking crusty, literally. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go zhuzh them up and I will be back. Okay guys, so I've gelled my edges, but still that's not com the complete look because if you can see, you can see gaps in between my curls and my hair's looking a bit sparse. And also this side looks slightly more shrunken than this side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my, my metal pick. I'm just gonna pull down Tease my curls down to the end slightly. There you go. It's looking a bit more fuller, a bit more stretched. And I'm going to do the same on this side, just to fluff it up a little and not make it look so sparse. Okay. But you don't want to comb the curls out, guys. That's what we're not trying to do. This side of my hair is the curliest, so my curls are tighter. They're the same length, but at the same time, this one always shrinks up the most. But I don't want to put more heat on my head. I don't want to manipulate it too much to the point where it, as I said, there's frizzing. So there you go. And that is it, guys. That is the final look. This is how my hair looks after I've slept on it with a bonnet. No straight parts on my edges because my hair wasn't pulled up into a pineapple. No dents. It's got to match. Curls never match, do they? Yeah, it's the best you're gonna get. <laughs> So yes guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video. And if you wanna have a chat with me, you can come over to my YouTube community tab and leave your comments. 
All right, guys, and don't forget you can comment down below too. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, stay safe.